There we go. What's up, Arcalon? How you doing, dude? Did I wipe my ass? I didn't shit it. I peep peep. Do I need to wipe my butt even if I just pee? Sometimes you don't even need to wipe your butt when you poop. You get the ghost poop. A real low key poop. Your diet is like really good. Oh, that was a greed. That's been a trend lately. I get really greedy in my speedruns. Of course, you can never find out whether it was a ghost poop or not until you actually wipe, so you always gotta wipe, but still. It's a good mission one. Very good. Oh. My PB? I don't know. Like, 58 minutes something, I think. I was just saying earlier, I don't remember what it is. It used to be record, but record's a lot better now. We arrived too late to see this beautiful Left 4 Dead. Yeah, it'll be on the archive channel though, if you want to watch it. I always upload the VODs as their own videos, like a week later usually, but we have last week's run up there. Hey tip for those starting on the speedrun world, just play. There's nothing to it really. Actually practice. That's my biggest tip. Don't just like play the game. Actually like study and practice if you want to get better. But just do it. It's the number number one thing. Just actually like do the thing. Yeah, watch people that run the game. That's huge. That's where you get like 90% of your information from. Oh, join the speedrun Discord if you haven't already. For whatever game you're particularly interested in running. It'll have all the information you need. Because the best thing about learning a new speed game is having all the runners come into your chat and help you learn while you're playing. So I, just, I would suggest streaming your learning and like letting people in the speedrun discord for the game you're going to learn know that you're going to be doing it. Like, hey, I'm going to be... It doesn't even really count as self-promotion because you're like, hey, I'm going to be learning this game. And I'm going to be streaming it. And they'll be like really stoked to help you just like go in your chat and give you suggestions and stuff that's one of my favorite things to do actually it's one of the only types of streams that i watch is people learning or being new to runs that i already run 
<laughs> I've been watching a lot of Major Richie lately. Because he's been learning DMC3 and then DMC4. Practice? I'm out. Yeah, a lot of people don't want to practice. But honestly, practicing is more fun than doing runs. That sounds insane, but it is really. Like, just doing a run is not that fun for me anymore, but practicing and, like, really getting a strat down, it's, like, super satisfying. I guess it, it ebbs and flows. It depends on the game and stuff. Sometimes it's more fun, sometimes it's less. I like doing ILs, just practicing. Pretty fun. I wish Devil May Cry had ILs. Devil May Cry 1 has some kind of. But I wish like DMC3 did. Well, there is a leaderboard for them, but. You know, it's not really a thing. Secured the port, let's go. Yes, let's go, I saved it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Big as if achieved. That's always so stressful when you don't hit it first try, but all good. Hoggers, dude. Gaming occurring. Well, there I did a skip. I skipped two combat rooms and a boss fight. It's the only skip like that in the game. It's called Giga Zip, because it skips the Gigapede boss fight and you do a zip to do it. Basically, when you gold release on an edge, you'll get like an insane amount of speed and just be able to go through walls. And that room has the level, level end trigger for that mission, but it's behind a wall. So if you zip at the right angle through the wall, you can land at the end of the level and then just end the level and not have to do the boss fight or the extra combat. Now it's pretty much impossible to do tricks like that where you skip con content in this game because every room is separate, right? So you can't really sequence break. Like even if you go out of bounds, you're just out of bounds outside of that one room and you have to like go through the load zone, right? But that room shares is shared. Like that part of the room that you get to later is still active in that part of the room that you're there earlier. So you can go through the wall. It's really a perfect storm because there are enemies that can attack you in that room, and there's a ledge that you can zip off of, and there's somewhere to go, and you just so happen to be able to line it up. So it's like a million things had to go right to make that possible, but here we are. Which is great too because that boss fight sucks and is like RNG, so it actually makes the run more consistent, but the trick is 100% consistent. Where the boss fight is not. Woo!
Dante's only 10 seconds off Virgil right now. Yep. But that's just because no one's run Virgil. Virgil should still be a lot faster. Like, Virgil doesn't have any of the... the despawn tech from mission 12. And there's probably like a whole bunch of boss cycles that haven't been found with Virgil yet. And Virgil should be like a couple minutes faster than Dante easily, but it's just not optimized. Me and Dizzy did some runs like about four years ago now, and those were pretty good for the time, but they're not good anymore. Wonder how that skip was found. It's pretty simple. I mean, we knew that zips were a thing, and Heist was fucking around with the perfect release mod, so like he could do perfect release whenever he wanted to. And he knew that... He knew that if you got to the other side of the room, that you could just end the level, because that's how the level works. And then, so he was like just zipping on the platforms up there, trying to see if he can get there. And then he eventually did it with the mod, but then he needed to find a setup to manipulate the enemies so that he could do it in an actual run. And C. Mateus was looking for it. And he came up with the idea of shotgunning the guy up top. And then once he found that setup where he shot the gun the guy up top, he didn't know how to get the release going. And I um, took his idea of shotgunning the guy up top and then found the setup. So Heist proved the trick possible. C. Mateus got the shotgun the guy up there part and then I finished the setup. Any new game I'm excited to speedrun? Devil May Cry 2, Devil May Cry 1, Devil May Cry 3, Devil May Cry 4. Left 4 Dead 2, Halo 3. You don't talk about that here, Pookie? He who should not be named. You know, as a speedrunner, sometimes I speedrun things because I love them, and sometimes I speedrun them because they're my job, and the MC5 is definitely a job. I'm planning on getting one through five record. I want to get a record in one, two, three, four, and five at the same time. I have one record right now, but it's not good enough, so I need to keep improving it before I move on. I'll probably do one, then three, then two, then four, then five. Or no, I should get five record first. Like it's just like I have to be strategic about it because those games are still actively ran, so. If, like, if I get four record, then Ren Zero is going to come back and get the record back like a week later. So I kind of have to get four record last. You know? Same thing with DMC2. Like, if I get DMC2 record, then D Loner is going to come back and he'll get it in like a week. So... If I got three record, even if it was only by like one second, it would probably last for like a couple weeks just because the game at the highest level is not that active. Um, that's probably the safest one. One and three are the safest ones. So I'll probably do those first. Especially if I get like a 40, a 34, 40. Like a low 34-40. Karma will probably go for the record, but it'll take him a while. Hey, Fig. How you doing, dude?
Yeah, I think I could get the re-record within like two or three weeks of, of playing. Because I'm already, I'm like, it's in my blood, you know. Like this run, with no practice. My GCs are really good, and I got all my S ranks, and I hit Giga Zip. I've been getting like 103 RTA on my recent resets. So, so Lone River, that's like 101. Record's like a 55, right? Orbit up is not required. Big. Like, you can easily do a run without Orbit up. All Orbit up lets you do is buy one extra purple lord in mid game. Uh, and also, it guarantees. Well, honestly, you don't even need Orbit up to get the purple orb on mission three. So, if you just S rank mission one, that's good enough. Actually. So, I wouldn't even bother with Orbit up, to be honest. But yeah, I do run two. My time's not very good, though. <laughs> it's like fucking 15 minutes away from record or something. DMC2 running more fun than two than four? No. Four is really fun. Two is a fun run though. It's just not nearly as fun as four. Yeah, I wouldn't bother with Orbinip on mission one at all. Uh, or just like, just don't bother with Orbinip at all until you have like a good time. It doesn't save very much time. Just focus on no damaging mission one. That's like the biggest thing. Try to get as many orbs as possible. Goodbye. What's up, Sykes? This is your favorite Devil May Cry? Me too. This is my favorite game. Just in general. There's more than eight runs on the board for DMC2. I think, right? I think there's at least 15. More, than, more runs than you'd think. Most of them are pretty bad, though. I mean, 15 is actually a lot for a speedrun. Like, you'd be surprised. People think that speedrunning is like this big thing, but if you look at the leaderboards for most games, it's really, really niche, actually. Like, super small. It's really rare for a game to have like over 50 submitted runs. Like, even if it's a really popular game. Uh, DMC1 is by far the most popular Devil May Cry game, and it has less than 100 submitted runs for any percent. I think DMC3 has like less than 30. DMC5 has, one, has three submitted runs for Special Edition, I'm pretty sure, for Nero Dante V.
And for the original version, non-special edition, it's like less than 10, I think. Hello? I really need more. Uh, that's extremely common in like every speed game ever. Speedrunning is really niche. For a really long time, there was a insanely, like when I started speedrunning, DMC3 had like 10 submitted runs. DMC1 had a very similar amount. There was like two runs for DMC2. There are some really popular speed games that have like several hundred submissions or even several thousand, but those are pretty far and few between. Like Portal, Portal 1 and Portal 2 have like thousands and thousands of submissions per category. Minecraft is like thousands and thousands of submissions per category. But the more niche stuff is like pretty small. I've been speedrunning like six years. It's 2018. Oh, I fucking missed the gold release. You don't know how I deal with this boss? So I... shoot him with a shotgun. <laughs> That's what you do, basically. That's pretty simple. You mystify it too much. It's way easier than you make it seem. I appreciate you gassing me up, but it really ain't all that. You could do it too. Zip, 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 zip. No. No. He's missing. Homie's missing. I need you to hit me. Hit me, Batman. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. You have to hit me for this trick to work. You, ha you have to hit me for it to work. He's literally just... A, a, Worst aimer of all time. Oh, he's drunk. Please. Oh my god. Sir. I'm asking you politely to please hit me. Thank you. Very difficult game, Devil May Cry. The enemies are brutal, obviously, as you can see.
Well, that was a really good first fight on the spiders. Holy shit. They just let me beat the shit out of them. Spider GC is going hard today. Ouch. Feel free to screenshot. No! Wrong way. This picture goes hard. Feel free to screenshot. Ah, I fucked up. Agreed, as always. Alright, bitch. The pretty dress you're wearing. Come and get me. Damn, I almost saved it. If I hit like one more JC. I did knock her down in the second cycle, that wasn't what I killed her, but that's fine. I DT'd a little bit too early. What's up, Draskal? How you doing? Good to see you. How did you know you could parry the lightning floor? I saw someone else do it. <laughs> Train's been good. Everything in this game is parryable. The only thing that's not parryable... The only thing that's not parryable is... Uh, the floor on mission name. Everything else is parryable. The whole game. Anything that can hurt you. Including the baby spiders. Are these glitches only on PC? What glitches? I've only done two glitches. The zip on mission 9 and the zip on mission 4. Uh, but they both work on console. Everything else is intentional game mechanics. I'm not convinced you can't do it on Switch. I think that the people who have tried it on Switch just aren't very good at it. I could be wrong though. Because we used to think you couldn't do it on PS3 either, but then someone actually did it on PS3 and it was like, oh. I think it might be a skill issue. Actually. You can get a zip on the switch? Done it? Oh really? Yeah, I thought so. Cosmic kind of runs on the switch? Yeah, but Cosmic's never done Gigazip before, I don't think. I gotta I don't know if he's even tested it. I don't even know who all tried it on Switch. I think Lugi tried it maybe. Yeah, Cosmic's not very good at this game. He's gotten a lot better at it lately. 
but not like in the zone where he would be doing a zip. Especially not back when he like was playing on Switch. Later, comrade. Have a good one, dude. Appreciate you. Like the only people I'd really trust to test it would be like me or Frenchie or Loner or Zerks or Cimateas or Heist. And none of us have, so. Hey, Leon Kennedy. Doing good. I was talking that fast. Now when that enemy shot me, you teleported the door. Well, when the enemy shot me, I teleported the door. That's a zip. That's a glitch, yeah. But then switching weapons fast and jump canceling and all that stuff. That's not glitches. That's intentional game mechanics. What game series do you see? Would you say it deserves a remake? Resident Evil. The original games are terrible. Remakes are much better. Definitely glad that happened. I just shit down that boss's throat. My lord. Sheesh. God damn. Homie said no chance. That was a very, very, very good Beowulf. I almost killed him without having to release. that fast enough to despawn? It was, somehow. What? I don't know how, but it was. And I got that one too. Um, I'm the best. So, because I'm good at the game and I did it correctly, that looked like nothing. But I just skipped like two extra waves of enemies by killing all the enemies at the same time. 
I think that might also be PC exclusive. I could be wrong though. Honestly, it's one of those things where everyone who's good at the game plays on PC, so no one knows what's possible on console. I mean, there are a couple of good console runners in this game now, but the people that are spending like a fuck ton of time in the game are usually PC runners. That's just true for all of speedrunning. Just because PC is just way better for speedrunning, you know, you have live split with load removal and you can have mods and practice tools and all sorts of neat shit like that. Easy to record, easy to live stream. Last. MC2 is last on the list for the marathon today. We have already completed everything else. Yes, those exist, Rascal. I am planning on playing them. I just have don't know when exactly. Probably semi soon, honestly. Oh, I still got it. I still got it. Woo! That is always such a fun boss cycle when you do it well. That's a really good mission 12. I got both the despawns and a really good Garion. Crazy. Hey, this boss is annoying. What boss? I don't see a boss. <laughs> He's dead. I fucking killed him. It's already over before you finish typing. Speed. Aggression. How is that the first white orb we've gotten? Huh? Greedo is the best boss in video games, not even just Devil May Cry. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, three. Ooh, what a fight. That was sick. I'm gaming right now. This is a good ass run. Bye bye, Virgil.
Doing a little bit of cooking. Gordon Ramsay in this bitch. Everything's dying so quickly. It is a speed run. It is a speed run. So they do be doing that. Actually, a pretty good run, too. I should have known that was going to happen. Oh, I missed the wall jump. Will Nero carry the series or will it fall down after five? Uh, it already fell down after four. Five sucks. The enemies are dying faster than another Devil May Cry speed runs. Well, in DMC4, enemies die super fast, at least when you're playing with Nero. In DMC5, they don't die that fast because they have a bajillion HP for no reason. But in late game, they start dying super fast. This game, you just have a lot more tools, you know? Like, you have Devil Trigger Explosion and Gold Releases and Jump Canceling galore, like... I have a lot more opportunities to completely eviscerate everything. What's bad about 5 except for V and boring environments? What's bad about 5 except for all of the level design and ha one third of the gameplay? That's what you just asked, by the way. But, uh, you know, besides that, the moon physics, the lack of reversals and inertia, um, the terrible writing, the cringy cutscenes, the lack of identity, the super long load screens, no breaker switching, uh, every character is insanely broken and Makes the game trivially easy, no matter what difficulty you're playing on. Uh, the boss fights are mid. Lots of things.
That Cav Angela is one of the best bosses in gaming. He literally is just a bipedal dude that just stands there and lets you wail on him. That's the whole boss, basically. I mean, if you want a boss that's actually good, like any of the Virgil fights in this game or Credo from 4. Honestly, almost every single boss fight in this game is really good. Even the ones that are bad are really good compared to other games. Like, like even Arkham is like pretty good compared to a Ninja Gaiden boss fight. Thank you, Baku. Appreciate you. Also, the realistic aesthetic just like really hurts the game when it comes to playability. The fact that the jump cancel hitbox is like five times bigger than it should be. Uh, the fact that jump canceling has six frames of recovery on it. That's fringe. Hold right there. Hold that shotgun, my friend. Good block. Oh, also, like, Royal Guard is nowhere near as fun in that game. I mean, that's also a complaint for, of me for four, but, like, Royal Guard is, like, not nearly as fun as it's the MT3, but. What DMC bosses do you think are actually good? Uh, there are all of them, almost. There's only a couple bosses that I don't think are good in all in the entire series. The window boss in DMC4 isn't good. All of the V bosses suck in 5. But like, I like most of the bosses in Devil May Cry. Mundus, Mundus 1 sucks. Mundus 3 kind of sucks, but it's kind of a nothing burger. It's like not a big deal that it sucks. Mundus 2 sucks. But again, even Mundus 2 is like more fun than most Ninja Gaiden bosses. Like, the boss fights in Devil May Cry games are really good. Even the DMC2, like, DMC2, the highlight is easily the boss fights. Some of those bosses are actually legit pretty good. I mean, obviously some are dog shit. Like, Infested Chopper is terrible, but... Um... Uh, Bulverick, pretty fun. Right? Like... Bulverick and the building boss are both, like, pretty fun. There's... There's like 20 bosses in that game, and I think at least half of them are good. How much we gotta pay you for Ninja Gaiden speedrun? I will do one Ninja Gaiden speedrun for $1,000. I'll finish the run. Yo! I just became a member on YouTube, I think. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Enjoy the emotes. I missed the name, my apologies, but I didn't see it. 
Especially the better I get at the games, the more I like the bosses. Like, the better I am now, like, I played, like, through DMD a couple times, and I actually kind of like Arkham. It's, like, kind of fun. And now that I know a bunch of loops and stuff, Gary and it's pretty fun. Oh, I think someone gifted a bunch of memberships. Hold on. One second, let me check. I feel bad. This is on the other channel too. Oh no! I want to thank this person, but... but... Where is it? I don't see it. I feel bad. I'm looking. I don't see it. Thank you so much. Whoever did whatever. I, re I very much appreciate it. I wish there was a better way to manage my alerts. I wish Restream had like an alert system. So I could read my alerts. Can't even see half of Arkham's attack because they're like clipping through him. No, I mean you just have to learn how to read them. Honestly, they're not that bad. It, the second phase kind of sucks, but it's not terrible. It's not the worst thing ever. Like, I used to really dislike Garion, but then I learned how to how to fight him, and he's like way more fun now. I actually like like to, speed on Shrad is super fun, but there's also a bunch of other loops that are quite fun. So sad that DMC5 is the best graphics, but all we got instead of Gothic castles with subway stations and a boring city with trees. See, but I don't even agree that DMC5 is the best graphics because sure, it's got photorealistic graphics, but those photorealistic graphics are ugly. And they make it really hard to read the gameplay. I think DMC4 looks way better than DMC5. DMC4 is one of the prettiest games I've ever seen in my life. The effects in DMC4 are so pretty. And it has this like awesome, realistic, stylized aesthetic that just fits with the gameplay so well. Like the gameplay is hyper readable. Even DMC3 has that problem with readability sometimes. But DMC4 is like beautiful. Evanius. Do you have any experience with fucking around with gameplay mods in 3 or 4 NES, or do you just do modeling stuff? Okay, if I mod knowledge, Sag. I'm pretty sure the idea I can do, I could do with four hook, but I wanted to automate it. I didn't build release, so I'm gonna be broke. Yo, Rapture, thanks for the 11 months, bro. I appreciate that. Much love. Time does fly, almost a year. Cause I was gonna ask, I wanted to do like a playthrough where I played through on very hard. But every single room Virgil spawns in. So like every room there's a Virgil. And I know you can manually spawn in Virgil. 
with DDMK, I think, but I wanted it to like happen automatically, you know? I didn't have to like open the menu every room. And I want to do the same thing in four, but with Credo. You know? And I think you could spawn Credo in with four hook. Which wouldn't be a big problem, but that's exclusive to OG4 and then like... Yeah. Well, I wanted to do it like new game, but then I don't want to have to deal with not having any fucking Proud Souls in DMC4. Like new game, vanilla 4 sucks, so I'd have to do it like new game plus, maybe. Like bro, I'm, I think if in 4 I do like Legendary Dark Knight, new game plus with Credo in every room. <laughs> that would be funny. I don't know if it'll break though, like if it's if it's actually going to work in every room. Like I don't know if in the Gary and boss fight I could spawn a Virgil and it won't crash the game. Also a possibility of the AI just breaking, yeah. All over, thank you. I guess I'd have to test it, but. Like, fighting Cerberus with Virgil 3 in the arena would be quite fun. I remember Mills a long time ago did like four or five Virgils at the same time in DMC3, but it was during, it was like in his combat arena, you know? And it was just a bunch of Virgils, so I don't know. I'm gonna test it. I should test that at some point. It's like the, the features are kind of there. It would be jank, you know. That was a little jank. All good though. Saved it. No. Haha. Uh -huh. That's fine. Good save. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could do it ahead of time. I remember Heiss was saying something about that. Well, this is also a problem. Is uh, The only two people I know that know how to do edits to DDMK are Heiss and Sian. And Sian doesn't ever respond to me, and Heist has turned into a religious fundamentalist that tries to postulatize to me every time I talk to him. So I had to block him. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, ironically, actually, he got kicked from the DMC speedrunning discord because he like would not stop talking about Jesus when people asked him to. 
And then uh, he just like kept DMing me over and over again. And I'm like, look, dude, I don't want to talk about this. He's like, your eternal soul, blah, blah, blah. Bro, I missed it by like one hit and now this mirror is just gonna troll me forever. Yeah, right. I mean, when you get really good at something, you have to be a little bit crazy to do so. And I think that sometimes goes a little too far. Like, no one cares if he's like religious. It's just, dude went off the fucking deep end and wouldn't stop like proselytizing to people. One more. One more mission. Bye bye, GG, 104. I paused for like a minute, so it's like a 103. That was a good run. GG.